hello guys welcome back to multi skills digital platform on this tutorial we're going to teach you how you are going to use the two of the php hashing api functions which is the password hash and the password verify functions to secure your user input this story is going to teach you is going to basically teach you how to implement the password hash and the password verify functions on your website to secure your user's password now on this story we made two forms which is the registration form and the a login form first the registration form is going to collect the data which is going to be typed by the user and store it inside the database after which we use the login form to check if the password really match with the one stored in the database while registering uh, like i said before basically i told you this uh, tutorial is only to show you how to implement the password hash function and password verify functions on your website to secure your user password you don't have to worry about all this code i'm going to type right on this story but if you find it confusing or you don't understand the codes i'm going to type here you have to like make a request of a video tutorial on any of them you can bring out on and i can bring out Right now, you're just making simple uh, database connection. Uh, first, let's uh, create a variable, an empty variable that we're going to use later on this tutorial. Now, secondly, we are going to make uh, an if statement which is going to be executed. When the right button is being clicked. Now, on this, what I want is that when the register button, when the registration button is being clicked, I want you to collect the user password first. Like, collect the user password, then store it on the variable password. Then, secondly, hash the password before storing it inside our database. What we're just doing right here is just uh, collecting the user's input and store it inside a variable called password. And after which we hash the password using the password hash function. Which I'm using two of its arguments. The first argument collects the string which is to be hashed. And the second one stay the method you are going to use to hash the password on this I'm going to use the password default method that's password default algorithm next we are going to make a query that we're going to insert the details of the user inside the database Just made a simple query that you just inserted the data inside the database. Now on the table, on the table password hash, we have our field name, username, email, and password. And the value we are going to feed inside the field name is the username, the email, and the password, which we are getting from the user. Remember, the password is already hashed.
Now, after which we prepare our query for execution. After preparing the query, we execute our statement. Uh, mind you, I, I, I basically made videos based on requests. Uh, right now, someone requested for this video I'm making right now. So, in case if you have any video that is bothering or you have any problem that you needed to be solved, you can request for the video and you simply make the video for you. Now, this is a video requested by someone. Like I said before, if you find anything confusing here, you can simply request for your own video. And what we are just doing is just executing the statement which you prepared as initial. Then fit it with the uh, user's input. Now, I said, next we are going to check if the st statement was executed successfully. Now, here we are going to use our variable which we created initially, the message variable. Now, on this block of code, we are going to output if the statement is true, then let it output to the user that the that data was on the the user is registered successfully. That's the data wasn't started successfully. It just is success uh, message. <laughs> then the next is going to be an error message that's going to execute. That's the X block of code. And the S block of code is going to. Uh, Execute if the uh, data wasn't inserted inside the database. <laughs> now, if the data is, if the data did it and start successfully it's going to output an error message to the user telling the user that uh, that that was unable to insert into the database <laughs> unable to insert data that the error message is going to output to the user now let's output the message to the user now we're going to echo the message to the user. Mind you, this uh, line of code I'm going to type here is simply the same as using the echo function to echo the message, which I think is the uh, it's an easy way I can use to echo my variables. Now let's check if our code is running correctly. The login form is a registration form. Let's insert some data inside the database. 
type our password you can submit oh success restart successfully now let's check if the data was inserted yeah it's inserted and check the password the password is being hashed it's strings so even the even the uh the admin that's the owner of the website won't be able to feed the user's password also now next we are going to create uh, an if statement which is going to be executed when the login button is being clicked And again, don't forget to visit my blog for a detailed explanation of how this really works. And the source code is also in my blog. You can get it there and practice with it. The URL of, the URL of my blog is, uh, is on the description of this video. When the login when the login button is being clicked, I want to like uh, fetch all the users that are that matches with the user that matches with the user username input. After after selecting all the data that matches with the user username. Uh, I will count the rows. Now, mind you, if the row is equal to one, that means the user is that the user have reached have registered. If the row is less than uh, zero, that means the user is not in the database. There's no record is found, I mean the user have a wrong username. You're just preparing the statement for execution. <laughs> After which we execute the statement. Now, after the execution, we're going to make an annual statement which is going to uh, count the number of rows that is found in the database using the row count function. Now, after which, we are going to write an if statement. Here we said if count is greater than zero, run this block of code. Then S, run this. That's if it is true, run the first block of code. Then if it is false, run the S block of code. 
and the else block of code is going to be an error message that means the user is not found in the database now the error message i want you to output is an wrong username that's the error message going to output to the user telling the user that he has a wrong username Now here, if the user exists, we are going to check the password if the password is correct. Now first of all, we have to fetch all the user data from the database based on the username the person or the user typed while logging in. Now we are going to use the for each loop to output the to fetch the user details on the database. Now what you are getting from the, the only thing you are getting from the database is only the password, which you are going to use to verify the password that person already typed. Now here we are going to use the password verify function. Now it has two arguments. The first argument is the string that you're going to compare it. You're going to compare with the one that is on the database. Now what it does here is going to hash it's going to first of all hash this string or this text that the user is going to type. After hashing it, it's going to compare with the hashed one inside the database. If it matches, then it's going to execute a certain block of code. That has the password of the person is correct. You can redirect the person to a certain page or as put on the message. But for this tutorial, I only as put the message to the user, telling the user that the, 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 uh, the login was successful. Now that if the password didn't match, that's the, if the password wasn't verified successfully, that's it's going to output an error message to the user telling the user that he got a wrong a wrong password. If the password is correct, then let's output a successful message. Telling the user that the login was successful. Now on this uh, block, you can also redirect the user to a certain page after a successful login. Now, in order to don't understand this very well, you like refer to my other tutorial, which I made. That's that advanced login system that I made using the uh, PHP edges uh, and jQuery. Or you can redirect user to a page so again if you really like this video please don't forget to like and subscribe and you can also share to your to your friends on uh, social media and let's check out our code Don't forget to visit uh, my blog to get the code, the, the, the source code of this tutorial for practice purposes. Play around with it. Now, you, as you can see, it's telling you a wrong password when the wrong password is being typed. Now, you're going to tell you a wrong username when the wrong username is also typed.
That is it for this tutorial. Please subscribe and don't forget to like and keep in touch.